inspired by summer, summary use of cans and the glamorous nights. And the whole intention is how do we bring a life at can closer to the consumer? So without further ado, let's see a small video which really establishes it. Thank you. Can has always been a showcase of fashion and style. We are familiar with the red carpet. We've experienced the paparazzi frenzy. We've lived through the backstage dramas. But Cannes is more than just that. This year, we reveal a new side of Cannes. Breezy mornings by the Riviera. Quiet afternoons punctuated with steaming cups of coffee. A glamorous sundown bubbling with conversation. And nights speckled with oodles of style. Get ready to discover life at Cannes by day and night. Now that you have the cone with us here today. Welcome, Deepika. Hi, um, good afternoon everyone. I can't believe this is finally happening. Yes. Um, I remember as a little girl growing up, my mother would use L'Oreal products and uh, I think it's every little girl's dream to sort of, you aspire and I think the brand has stood for so much more than just beauty and glamour. Um, I think over the years, and of course, strong women and empowerment is a conversation today, but I think L'Oreal has always stood for that for years. And um, I know for a fact that somewhere deep down inside, it's had a huge influence on me as a young girl growing up, so thank you so much for that. Um, I don't say this very often, but I do consider this a huge achievement in, in all of the work that I've done. Um, to be able to represent a brand that really stands for so much, that empowers women, and um, that also has such amazingly strong individual and talented women that also represent the brand, not just in India, but globally. So thank you so much for uh, including me in your family. And um, I'm very, very proud and very, very excited, um, not just of the association, but also the work that L'Oreal has done over the years. Thank you. Thank you. And um, of course, coming to today's event, we're here to launch the new collection that, um, that's called the Cannes Collection 2017. That's by L'Oreal Paris. And um, I'd like to reveal the looks 
and also the cosmetics and the makeup that we've used to actually create these looks. Uh, the, the, the looks are inspired by Can, a place that's bright and sunny and that's always radiating positivity, that's fun, and I think the collection really truly represents that in every way possible and also just colors that I feel are, are me. You know, and I, I was doing a couple of interviews and they said, you tend to always wear like bright lip colors and I feel like today's collection that we're launching is that I enjoy wearing bright lip colors, reds and oranges, uh, burgundies, and today's collection is all about that. So let's see that. day and can by night um, definitely looks that I identify with so thank you Do we have the, the products as well please So the bigger ones again, welcome on board. Welcome to the L'Oreal Paris family. I think it's a complete honor for L'Oreal Paris as well to have Deepika as a global brand ambassador. So Deepika, how does it feel to be a L'Orealista? Um, like I said, it's, it's, um, it's a feeling of pride, but it's also a feeling of excitement and happiness and so many feelings at one point. And, and the fact that this association um, new association and the fact that it's also um, so close to Cannes which is uh, again in a way an iconic event that's right. um, you know there's so much legacy that's attached to the event itself so I think all of it put together but just the fact that L'Oreal represents so much um, it empowers women which I think is a great place to be in and um, you know, like I said, it's something that I always wanted to be associated with in, in some way when I was a little girl growing up, and uh, that dream has come true. Wow, that's really happy to know. <laughs> uh, you know, all of us are super excited that Deepika is going to represent L'Oreal Paris at Cannes. So what is it that you're looking forward to at, at Cannes, uh, being representing your debut as a L'Oreal Paris Global Ambassador at Cannes? I think I'm looking forward to all of it, honestly. Um, I've been to Cannes before, personally, and um, there's something about the sun and, and the weather and just the place itself that is, um, like I said before, there's, there's so much, there's a lot of light, there's a lot of positivity, there's, and especially now I'm sure there's so much buzz and excitement. So I'm honestly looking forward to every, every bit of it. 
right from waking up in the morning and having my breakfast to looking at that view to um, you know interacting with the media to the red carpet um, and hopefully also and most importantly watching some exciting films wow. um, you know so it's all of it rolled into one super but what about the French Rivera? You didn't talk about that. I mean, French Rivera is something which is really famous for its glamour. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think, I think the venue goes without saying. I think um, Cannes, L'Oreal, all of it has a certain amount of glamour and beauty attached to it, and that's probably why um, you know Cannes is the venue for that. But I think, um, or even the collection that we've just launched, that's I right. think is is such a true representation of the place of me um, so many times when I see you know bloggers writing about her look and if I've done a red lip or an orange mouth they'd be like and she did her signature look um, which it is because I, I enjoy that I enjoy uh, you know bright lip colors and um, so it's going to be fun I think what I think what I'm looking forward to most is having fun great and we also look forward to the same as Deepika represent L'Oreal Paris as her debut at Cannes as a L'Oreal Paris brand ambassador so now I would request uh, our dear members here, in case they have any questions for Deepika, the brand. All right, first of all, on behalf of all the people here and the friends from the media. You're back. I <laughs> want to tell you we are very, very proud of you, Deepika, really, for being the woman of substance that you are and for inspiring all of us. Give it up for Deepika Padukone, ladies and gentlemen. Really, I mean it. And uh, now the Q&A is open for the friends from the media. I request you all to please raise your hands. Our volunteers will come with their mics. A humble request, please keep the questions to L'Oreal Paris and Cannes. Thank you. So who's going to ask the first question? Please put your hands up. We're raring to go. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can Hello. we have your name, please? And where yeah. are you from? Hi, I'm Garima from Grah Lakshmi Magazine. Hi. Deepika ji, as we all know that Aishwarya ji is a queen. So, what do you want to do with her? Do you want to take any tips from her? Um, I think like they just said, uh, I think the dates are there for everyone. Everyone knows on what day I'm walking and what day she is. But yes, of course, if our paths ever cross, um, I think she's someone who's represented the brand beautifully over the years. Um, not just the brand, but also she's represented India so beautifully. And, uh, you know, I've always admired the way she's conducted herself. And, um, you know, so of course, if I end up seeing her there, she's someone I know otherwise as well, but if I end up seeing her there, yes, of course. Thank you so much for your question, ma'am. The lady in the second row here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, Deepika. I'm Nazifa from Stardust Magazine. Firstly, let me tell you, you look stunning. So, which designer are you planning to wear at Cannes? Have you started planning already? Is something in your mind? Um, well, yeah, we have started planning, but I think it's... I think there's too much focus on clothes. Uh, you know, I think the focus should really be about having fun. Um, I think, as, as, as another woman, we enjoy dressing up, right. we enjoy getting ready. We all also know that um, being at public events in the way that we do is also in its own very, very stressful. And so I think the focus really is to just have fun. Um, the clothes are exciting, um, but I think there's so much more to, uh, to an event than just the clothes itself. But yes, it, it is something that uh, I'm sure my team is working on. <laughs> And um, it'll be fun. All right. Thank you so much. But I know one thing's for sure. Whatever you wear, you're going to look divine. That's for sure. Right, Thank Rajit? Any <laughs> day. <laughs> All right, next question, please. Yes, ma'am. Hi, uh, this question is for Rajit. Yes, what uh, red carpet trends can we expect this year in terms of makeup on the ambassadors on the red carpet? So, well, uh, what we've just talked about this year is really about celebrating life at Cannes. And when we say life at Cannes, we can expect a lot of day looks and night looks, both being carried by our ambassadors in a very, very different way. What really goes for a day summary, which are our new launch of the, the True Match highlighters and the tint look, uh, lip cushion that we just spoke about, 
which can be worn both for day, both for night, but they're different shades, and that is what you will end up seeing our ambassadors wearing this time. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Yes, fine. Thank you. My Deepika Ji's question is that beauty products are so many, and also makeup are so many. How many of these products enhance any beauty? और क्यों जरूरी है ब्यूटी प्रोडक्ट्स का यूज करना? I think जैसे आपने कहा, I think enhancing is the right word. I think that's the key. Beauty is not makeup, but your personality is. What you radiate, what you feel, what you embrace about yourself, how confident you are about yourself, that is beauty. Whether you choose to enhance that or not, that's a choice. Um, so if you choose to use beauty products um, or you choose for yourself to enhance certain features, that's when cosmetics come in um, and sort of enhance what you already have. Uh, for me, that, that's what cosmetics are. Um, you know, you have, to, you, have to, you have to sort of know who you are. You have to sort of know your flaws and your strengths and your weaknesses and embrace yourself for that and love yourself for that. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the general philosophy of it. There's the other philosophy of it, which is beauty is also about what you eat. It's how much you sleep. It's what you eat. That's beauty also. And then there's the third aspect of it, which is your, your skin care and your cosmetics and your hair. So it's all of these things uh, put together. Thank you, ma'am. Our next question is going to be directed to the lady just behind, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello, Deepika. Neha from Bollywood now. Hi. The question is, how do you finalize your look for international red carpet? Because you know that there is a lot of pressure. You have walked on the red carpet in Met. Priyanka's dress was not liked by the audience. And you know what happened. So how do you finalize on your look? There is pressure. How do you deal with pressure? You're assuming I know what happened. I have no idea what has happened. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you, unke dress par kaafi saare uh, tweets huye, bohut saare jokes banaye gaye, unka jo uh, gown tha, jo jacket gown tha, us par. So, us cheez ko kis tarah se lete ho aap, aur is pressure se kis tarah se deal karte ho? Um, you know, I think I've always looked at everything as an opportunity and what you make of those opportunities. Um, for me, or for her, I'm sure, the opportunity is not about what we're wearing, but it's really about the opportunity and the privilege of being at an event like that. And that's what my focus was. My focus was to feel good in what I wear. Some people might like what I wear. Some people might not like what I wear. Um, but I think the intention is always to have fun, whether it's with what you're wearing or the event that you're going to or the people that you're going to meet because those are the memories that last forever. And I think the only time, well, I can't speak for her, but the only time that I would truly be concerned about what I wear is if my mother gave me flack for something that I wore, or if my girlfriends gave me flack for something that I wore. I think that's the only time I would probably allow any sort of comment to, to even enter my life. Also, I feel the fact that you're representing India on such global platforms, that itself is a big thing, Deepika. Thank you for recognizing that. Thank you so Thank much, you. really. And everyone recognizes that as well. <laughs> to put us on the global map, more power to you, OK? Thank you. And I did not pay him for that. <laughs> she did not. Trust me on that one. All right, uh, who's going to be asking the next question? Uh, can we go that side, please? Hi, Deepika. This is journalist Pooja Samant here. Uh, I would like to ask you, it's been almost 10 years of you in acting and in Bollywood. And how you look at your journey and uh, being a brand ambassador for Loria, representing in Cannes, it's a feather in your cap. How you look over all the things? Well, considering that it happened, it's happened 10 years after, it definitely makes me feel like there's so much more to do and so much more to achieve and that so much more can happen. Um, just when you think that, you know, you know, everything's going great, something even better happens. Um, 
and i think that's that's what that's what drives me the fact that there's no end to it that you can keep challenging yourself you can keep exploring so many different things uh, and there's so much more to do and so much more to achieve but it doesn't feel like it's been 10 years um i feel like you know i look back at some of my work um and i don't i don't feel like it's been that long i feel like there's so much more to do and so much more to give and um yeah thank you ma'am uh next question would you like to move that side lady please on the left side the so we will come to you there's a lady there hum zarur aapke paas aayenge thank you yes ma'am how are you i'm good uh hi dipika i'm such a great fan first of all thank you and you look so amazing uh just you mentioned that beauty is not makeup so i wanted to ask what makes you look so so glowy so healthy so fresh all the time what is it it's that <laughs> oh other Where than did it go uh, <laughs> it's behind that other than l'oreal <laughs> paris what is it something naturally <laughs> that you do like you just enter and there's this aroma around you it makes you look so fresh what is it so have you got your notebook down she's going to give all the points huh <laughs> wait did you say aroma or aura i'm confused both the everything wow. it's just oh i have an aroma yeah <laughs> and aura and the aura and, aura. and the aura <laughs> um the aroma is one second okay let's come to aura <laughs> <laughs> um hmm Thank you. That's a big word. Um I don't know. I think it's uh I think it's taken me a long time to get here. Um I think it takes immense mental peace to be um to be in this space. And uh, that takes a lot of work. Um and I think it takes staying focused on the larger picture. that's what it is i think and i also think it's your humility towards people and the warmth and affection you give so you can add to that <laughs> what have you had for breakfast today <laughs> south indian food yeah <laughs> all right next question please hi can we uh, move the mic there please hi hi dipika um since you mentioned the bloggers i'm a blogger myself this is shanti and i wanted to know you know uh, do you believe in being a trend setter or do you still want to keep to your signature style things that you love wearing uh, as far as colors are concerned you've known me long enough what do you think i think you're lovely <laughs> i mean everybody <laughs> follows what you do but what do you do with uh, 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 how do you keep to you know what you want to do and also balance it out with the trends um i think all of us have a signature like we keep saying there's a there's a signature style or there's an inherent style or there's there's a signature look that one has or something that we are all very comfortable with for example maybe you like to just wear your hair down all the time or maybe you like to wear kajal you know so it's different for different people so i have my signature go to things as well that i like to do you know like i like to put my hair up um i like to wear red lips and different things influence that it's probably you know growing up uh you know i'm sure you've had certain influences in your life and then there's there's the experts that i i'm fortunate enough to work with i think they are the guys who sort of help me keep up with the with what is in trend whether it's my clothes whether it's my hair whether it's my makeup i don't know that i don't claim to know that um uh, is it exciting to learn yes of course it is uh, whether it's via social media or you know what you guys write or uh you know so, or you read uh so i'm i'm always curious to learn but at the same time i don't claim to know that i know and i'm okay being behind the curve uh and then that's why i have an amazing team of people that i work with who help me find that balance so if something goes wrong would you be affected in terms of a color which you know you're not convinced wearing or you know something which people suggested you wear and you weren't comfortable doing that will it affect you at all No, not at all. Not at all. In fact, we have fun doing what we do. Um, you know, we're we're all in a room together and we've never really pre-decided anything. We're really just going with the flow and what we're feeling on that day and 
somebody has a hair suggestion, somebody has a makeup suggestion, somebody says you have to wear this, someone says, and eventually the look comes together. And like I said, sometimes it might work, sometimes it may not work. The idea is always to have fun. Don't forget that. Like we are having fun today. All right, next question, please. Uh, can we move uh, to the gentleman? Can we move this side, please? We'll come back to you. Any questions on the left-hand side? The volunteers? No, okay, ma'am there. Hi, Deepika, on your right. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I have to ask you this, like, you know, L'Oreal has taken the world by storm. The other thing in cinema today that has taken India and the world by storm is Bahubali 2. I have to ask you this. Kaha se kaha. <laughs> right. Okay. So you've also done a couple of regional films, but today we can see that regional films has literally taken over India, Bollywood and all of that. What are your thoughts and the fact that it's become the highest grosser of all times? That, that, that the possibilities are endless. endless and limitless. That's why I do a triple X and that's why Priyanka does what she does because the, there's, there's no limit to creativity. There's no limit to anything in life, actually. Um, and that's exactly what it is. And you know, uh, it, whether it's us as Indians representing India globally, or whether it is um, a Bahubali, which is a regional film, which, which we understand is a regional film that's, that's breaking barriers and crossing boundaries from, from their region, and that's become such a huge success. Uh, that's exactly what it is, that, that the possibilities are endless. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last question. Uh, the lady here. There, there you go. Over here, center. Hi, Deepika. My question is to you. You always have a positive attitude towards life. What motivates you to be what you are? Uh. <laughs> I Wow. What motivates me to to be positive? Because there is no other way to be. There is no motivation in that sense. I mean, I think the motivation is to have like I said earlier, the motivation is to have peace of mind, the motivation is to enjoy my work, the motivation is to um is to do great work. Uh, my motivation is to let my parents know that I'm in a good space and that I'm happy. Um, and I feel a lot of it comes from the way they've brought me up. Uh, that's, that's just the way we are as a family. And um, that's how I've seen my father and my mother conduct themselves as well. And um, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much to all our friends from the media as well. That was the last question. Thank you, Deepika, and thank you, Rajit. And I know you're going to do wonders for us at the Cannes. And I know one thing's for sure, you're going to keep the flag of L'Oreal Paris fly high always. Thank Please you. give it up for Rajit and Deepika Padukone, ladies thank and gentlemen. You. Thank you. And this is me, Siddharth Kanan, requesting our friends from the electronic media and journalists from the electronic media once this photo opportunity is done, you can come in front and do your question and answer session for your TV channels and our journalists from the electronic media. a small announcement as well ladies and gentlemen when you're leaving the ballroom when you're evacuating the ballroom please carry all your bags and there's delicious lunch served outside so please join us for that as well thank you
I'd request Deepika to please come this side as well and stand. just to get there at the red carpet this year or maybe in future? Well, as I already said, you know, we are all set for this year's red carpet. And as I said that there's a big pool of ambassadors which are going to walk the red carpet on different days. And because Cannes is not just a one-day event, it's a 10 days event. And in 10 days, different ambassadors walk different days, wearing different looks. So there's a combination of ambassadors that always walk together. And that's what you'll see this year as well. Can you just say it again? Sorry, please. How you are representing the glory of Cannes, 70 years of glory, with this collection? Well, uh, I think it's a big honor uh, for L'Oreal Paris uh, to finish 20 years of its existence with Cannes Film Festival. And I think the entire concept of life at Cannes, I think, celebrates that. Because it's not just about a particular year. It's about what really goes behind Cannes. And that's what the inspiration was when we say, what's the day look and a night look? And that's what L'Oreal Paris will do. And I really would say that you should look forward to the kind of looks that we will create this year. This year will be spectacular for us. Uh, Deepika, my question is from you. Deepika, how do you represent India as a proud of you? Because you have represented Aishwarya, Priyanka has represented you. So how do you feel so proud of this thing? Well, it, it's amazing. I think it's the same feeling as when you're an athlete and you're, you're you know, if, if you're in the you know, if you're in the national team and you're representing your country, it's, it's a similar feeling. Um, and, I mean, that sentiment goes without saying. Uh, it's not just when I'm representing India globally, but I feel that sentiment even when I'm working in India. Um, I feel, I'm, you know, I'm, I feel silly that I even have to say it, that I'm, I'm proud of, you know, of who I am and where I come from, and that goes without saying. Um, and then, of course, I think, I think as far as can specifically is concerned, I think the fact that um, being a woman, of course, um, you know, there's, there's the beauty aspect to it. And then being an actor, there's the film aspect to it, where you get to watch some of the best films in the world come, come together. So it's, it's sort of uh, the best of both worlds. And... You know, like I've been saying, there's so much legacy that's attached to the Cannes Film Festival, uh, the kind of people who attend, the, uh, uh, you know, um, the kind of directors who are going to be there. So I think all of that put together, I think it's, it's going to be an amazing experience. And um, obviously I'm proud of not just um, representing the brand, but also representing the country. Deepika, in addition, Priyanka has recently taken a stand for you that when the American media has called Priyanka, Priyanka has also taken a very good stand for you. What do you want to say about it? Well, absolutely. I think that, um, and it's not just about me being offended. Every single one of you in this room should be offended. Because um, it's not just ignorance, but it's also racist. Two people of similar color are not the same people. Um, and so as you as fellow Indians, should actually be calling them out and educating them instead of, um, you know, um, encouraging it. You should actually be educating them. Okay, Deepika, uh, what do you want to go to the next red carpet? Do you want to promote it? Do you want to say something about what kind of shooting is there? That would be the most ideal uh, case for me. Um, have we considered that ever? Well, <laughs> um, but I think, um, well, let's see. I mean, I think every, every film has its own sort of journey. And if it's meant to happen, it will happen. As far as I know, um, Padmavati is definitely scheduled to release in, I think, November this year. Uh, and that's what it is for now. Uh, but if, 
if life has different plans for us and for this film, then let's see. And if not Padmavati, then maybe some other film. Uh, Deepika, hi. Um, so on a lighter note, are you going to be going for Justin Bieber's concert? <laughs> no. no. And uh, you're really young for a general manager. How old are you? My God. <laughs> That's our cue to leave the room, guys. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, firstly, I work for L'Oreal. So you need to realize that I work for the world's number one beauty company. So I need to look and feel and represent Aww. the brand in the right way possible. So irrespective whether I might not look my age, but I definitely represent L'Oreal Paris for sure, which helps me. As she said, enhance. What is you representing L'Oreal Paris? Of course. How young you look. <laughs> Well, um, but I'm 36, so I'm not that young. Perfect. It's, it's the true match. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, yeah Deepika, uh, after Rapta, uh, Kirti Zaman quoted, she got a g girl crush on you. So <laughs> what do you want to say about this? Well, um, I'm extremely fond of her. She's, she's a lovely girl. I think that's a huge compliment. Um, and I wish them all the best. I really hope that the film does very, very well for them. Um, they're both amazingly very, very talented people. Uh, Dinesh, my friend, is directing the movie. Um, Maddox Films is some, you know, I've done some amazing work with them. So um, I wish them all the best and um, I hope the film does well. Uh, Deepika, hi, it's Ankita. First of all, you're looking gorgeous today. Thank and uh, whenever you wear any outfit, uh, is it your stylist which choose or you have a say in that? Because your stylist has been gathering a lot of flag these days regarding the outfits. So, any comments on that? <laughs> wow. Um, but you're looking gorgeous today, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, I think, um, I think it's all a collective decision. Um, we work as teams the same way we do in movies. We... Um, we work together to create a film, and same way we, we work together to, to create a look. And sometimes you might like what I wear, like today, and sometimes you might not like what I wear, and that's totally okay. I'm not dressing for you, my love. <laughs> I'm dressing for myself. So as long as I'm having fun doing what I do on the red carpet, nothing else matters. Uh, hi, Deepika. Here. Here, here. Uh, so after the success of Triple X, and then you've been representing uh, India on international platforms. So uh, how is Hollywood treating you on the whole? And uh, will we be expecting you in some more Hollywood movies? Well, you should expect me in movies, general. Um, I don't like uh, uh, the distinction between um, certain types of films. The language is different, yes, of course. And the... Um, uh, the, the reach and the visibility is, uh, is of course, um, much, much more when you do an American movie. But I think the idea and what really drives me is the film itself um, and the challenges that come with doing certain films. Um, and that's what I'm really looking forward to the most. Uh, hi, Deepika. You were with Ruhi and Ranveer with Ranveer. Karan Kitwins say, Kesa Raha, Kese, which experience share Karing? That's far too personal a question, so I wouldn't answer that. Okay, uh, Dusra Savalheki, uh, Ranveer or Ap Hamisha, Chachame Rete, Kabi Apka, Fair Huta, Kabi Nahi Huta, Uske Vareme, which uh, Kena Chai. You mean Ragjeet? Yeah, because Aj Ham can selection Kesat affair Kibat Kare. Hi, Vipika, here. Hi, I'm Rinuka. Uh, Vipika, a little uh, more to what you just said previously that, you know, it's racist when uh, two people, different people are called the same name because they're the same color. And I think if you uh, have noticed, Indian media was very offended when, uh, during, when you met Novak uh, Djokovic and they just called you this leggy lass or whatever. And you were the one who wrote to everybody saying that's not right and you're one of the most finest actors we have here. So uh, what is the reaction when you go abroad that does the ignorance sometimes uh, kind of make you wonder that, you know, why is it the way it is? Uh, no, because yeah. ignorance is ignorance. That's, that has nothing to do with... Um, I feel bad for them. I feel bad for their ignorance. Um, yeah. Hi, Deepika. This is... Hi, Deepika. 
Deepika, recently we interviewed Katrina and she really loved your look from Rapta's song. Uh, and she really complimented the way you are looking. Uh, how do you react to such compliments which come your way? I think compliments are always great. Welcome. <laughs> and especially when they come from contemporaries, uh, it's even better. So thank you for that. And um, I've always admired and appreciated um, what she's done with her life and her career. And uh, I'm sure it's not been an easy journey. And I've always admired and appreciated that. In India? So I think uh, every year uh, there's some. She's there. Right there. Okay, perfect. But in terms of trends, I think uh, trends evolve, and I think there are a lot of influencers here who are in a better position than me to say how trends have evolved. But I think uh, every year there's something or the other new. This year is all about matte. Now, matte is a big trend when it comes to lipsticks, and that's what people normally like to wear, whether in terms of long wear, whether in terms of the intensity color. So that's what the way makeup is evolving. Similarly, hair care, hair color. You see a lot of people wearing highlights. You see people doing different hair color. So that's how the entire cosmetic market is evolving. So it's not a specific product, but as you go along, you see different trends that come. All right, that was the last question. Thank you so much, our Thank friends you. from the electronic media. And now do join us for lunch. Thank you, Deepika. Thank you, Rajit. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, friends from the media. It really means a lot to us. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. You. Thank you.